The brain is the most complex organ of the human body. It consists of numerous regions that work in concert with each other to provide various functions. There are two regions of the adult brain, the subventricular zone and the hippocampus, where stem cells multiply and create new neurons. This adult neurogenesis has been shown to be important in memory and learning. The brain has a remarkable ability to learn how to discriminate between stimuli. When two sensory stimuli are very similar, an individual is at first unable to discriminate between them. However, with repeated experience, one is able to separate uncommon components from each stimulus. In our lab, we study mice, since they have a highly developed sense of smell. Sensory input is received from thousands of receptor neurons in the nasal cavity that send signals to the olfactory bulb. The subventricular zone contains stem cells that produce 30,000 new cells per day that migrate to the olfactory bulb. Once they arrive, the cells first send a process radially outwards where they branch multiple times to form mature olfactory neurons with a complete tree-like structure. We are able to specifically label this population by introducing DNA into the cells to express a fluorescent protein. In addition, we also express in these cells a special protein that causes them to be electrically active when exposed to blue light. In our experiments, the ability of mice to distinguish between two odors is measured. Mice with adult-born neurons labelled with a light-activating protein learned faster when light-stimulated compared to the control group. These results showed for the first time a true gain of function for adult neurogenesis. In our lab, we also study human loss of function of adult neurogenesis in the hippocampus, which has been linked to a poor ability to discriminate between scenes or episodes in one's life, causing misinterpretations of emotional states. It is associated with various neurological conditions, like depression, anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. In addition, stress, sleep deprivation and the aging process all cause a decrease in neurogenesis, whereas adult neurogenesis can be stimulated by social interaction, exercise and learning. It is the goal of our lab to understand these mechanisms and how to apply them to future therapies.